channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to apply false lashes. I love false lashes, but they can be tricky to apply. So I'm just going to share with y'all some helpful, some helpful tips and tricks that have helped me. So let's just get started. Okay guys, so I'm using the Faux Mink Wispies from Ardell and these are lightweight, not free, invisible band. So they're super lightweight and when you put them on, you can't see like the last strip. I hate when people, when that shows, I hate that. All right, so and the way that they come in the package is how you're gonna put them on your eye. So like this one is for this eye and this one is for this eye. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. Alrighty, so I want to show you all this about taking them out because this can be hard to like knowing how to get them out. Sorry about my phone. Just take your tweezers. Sorry about my nails. They need to be done so bad. And just kind of lift up on the outer edge. And just peel them off. And so the next thing that you're wanna, gonna wanna do is just do this little motion with it, run it back and forth, just to kinda give it more of a flexible shape, like your eye. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna measure these, and the way that you do that, make sure y'all can see me. I'm gonna put it on the zoom side, and I have it tilted up at me. So you're gonna place this on your eye, I start it where like your lashes begin kind of. I don't know if you guys can see. So you want to kind of stop like right in here because you don't want them to go all the way in your corner because it kind of closes your eye off completely. You just want to start it back right there. All right. So I need a good bit cut off. This is a crucial step into getting your lashes perfect, is trimming them. And this is one of the frustrating parts um, that people don't know about is, so let's say I didn't know that you needed to cut this off. If I went to go put this on, I'd be like, it's not working. But if I trim it, it's gonna be just fine. It's gonna be less stressful, all that. So I'm gonna start by trimming just a little bit because I know how much I need to trim, but I don't wanna accidentally trim too much. So we'll go back in. Okay, so that is good. And you never ever want to trim the beginning of that. You always want to trim the outer. Never trim the beginning. That little part right there, that is what gets it, um, what makes it look like a natural lash. So if you cut that part off, it's just gonna be like long lashes and like weird. So don't do that. And the next step is applying your glue. And I'm using the Duo Glue, and I really love this stuff, honestly. Like, it works really good. It's good glue and a good price. And so the trick with this is you don't want to put too much glue. You want to just start with less. And, like, these things can be tricky because you can just push it a little bit or squeeze it a little bit, and a lot will come out. You just want to barely, barely squeeze it with like the most gentle squeeze ever. Because if not, it's just going to go like, like everywhere. So you don't want to do that. So just barely a little bit. And you just want to start with one little dot. So one little dot. And you kind of get a feel for how it's going to come out. And then just kind of drag it. Okay. So then it should look like that. And you're just gonna let this dry for about 20 seconds or so. And sometimes I'll even blow on mine just to speed up the process. All right, so you can kind of visually see when it starts to look a little bit tacky, that's what you want. Because if it gets too dry, it's not gonna even stick. So what you're gonna do, this is whenever you need your tweezers. Okay, so we're looking up at this awkward angle and we're just gonna place it exactly how we want to so we got that on there next you're gonna I just kind of place it more in the middle 
And then we're gonna work with our tweezers. Make sure there's nothing sticky like any previous eyelash glue or anything on there or else it's just gonna rip it right off. So then we will just go in and press this. And that is how you get that on. So now we're gonna go in with the next one. Measure it. Okay, so I'm going back in. Same thing. And you kind of want to pinch your natural lashes together with the falsies because it just makes them connect better. So yeah, we got them on. And it didn't take me very long. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I went ahead and connected my real lashes to my false lashes and then I added some mascara on bottom. So now I'm gonna do it on the other side just to show y'all what I'm doing. So I'm not coating my entire lash, like the false lash, I'm just coating like right at the base basically. Cause if you do the whole lash, I feel like it gets clumpy and just looks fake and you don't want that. You want it to look nice and clean. In my outer corner, I have some glue that's kind of sticking and causing my like bottom lashes, lashes to stick to the top. So I'm just going to carefully take my tweezers and disconnect that. There we go. So that is how you put on false lashes. I hope y'all learned something from this today and I hope that my tips were able to help you out. These are beautiful lashes. I highly recommend them for any occasion, honestly. Like, they are amazing. All right, guys. If y'all enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.